Shoot. We going? Okay. Hey everybody, this is uh, AC here. And what I want to do today is I'm going to go over with you guys. I just want to share a couple of uh, dynamic ab workouts that I've discovered. And just picked up just kind of on my journey and learning uh, through the martial arts and stuff like that. Uh, also too, just a couple tips and pointers. I also learned there's this uh, fellow named uh, Paul Check, C-H. E C K. He's really awesome. He's got some uh, good videos and some ab workouts that you can do with like a medicine ball and stuff in the gym. So I'm going to share some of those tips with you. Um, the workout that we're going to do right here, which you want to keep in mind, is one thing about um, when you're laying down on the ground and when you're working your ab muscles, about thinking about your uh, belly button. And if someone has like a string that's going through your belly button and all the way through the back, you want to think about someone's pulling on that string on your belly button so the belly button is going to go closer into your spine. That's going to help keep tension on the abs because if you just kind of let your stomach kind of go out and you're coming up, you're really just going through a lot of motion, really not hitting the uh, ab muscles. So when you suck in that stomach right there and tense it up, that's going to help increase the intensity of that. Then also keep two is keeping the lower back, um, your lower back pressed into the mat. Then you kind of want to avoid um, space from the floor in your lower back. So if I'm down like here, just like this, okay? Right here I can stick my hand underneath, and what I want to think about doing is I want to think about sucking in that belly button and pressing that lower uh, back into the mat right here. So there should be no space, just like that. Okay, the first one is just going to be real basic. Basically what you're going to do, instead of doing like regular crunches and all that, keeping your uh, chin up, you start with your legs out just like this. Some of you guys have seen this before, but what you're going to do now, this again is a little bit more advanced, if you just start right here, we call them this, just kick-ups, okay? You start right here and you're going to keep your knees up and you're going to bring your head forward and kick down this way. Just like that. Keeping that lower back pressed into the floor and my belly button sucked in right here. That's all I'm doing right here, just like that. So I'm thinking about kneeing myself up just like that. And if I want to increase it, I bring my hands out so that's going to help bring tension up on the upper abs just like this and go this way. If you want to increase it, put on some like hand wraps or some uh, hand weights. Or if you want, you can use right here the dumbbells. It's going to add some weight on your hands. So you start up like this, put a lot of tension on it, and then kick up just like that and bring it back. Kick up, bring it back. So I'm not so much using my arm as I am using my ab muscles to explode myself up. That was really a good butt kicker. Man, I feel it already. If you want, you can use a medicine ball. Okay? A couple different variations. If you want to work, really just work on the lower abs, do it with the medicine ball. If you want to increase it, you're going to combine it uh, with your feet. Also, to using your arms. This one's really good right here because now you got to use your legs and your ab muscles to balance this medicine ball just like that on your legs, okay? So I'm going to do the same thing, but now I'm going to grab the medicine ball and I come back just like that. And notice I'm exploding with it, okay? If you want, you can go slow. If you want to be sport specific, especially like jujitsu, if you have somebody in your guard, you're not going like this. You're trying to pull them in right here. You're trying to get them up off. Everything's got to be explosive. This is how it's got to be. Explosive, boom, back, explosive. Try not to let your hands or the ball touch the floor and try not to let your feet touch the floor. Okay? Try not to drop it down. The last one, if you want, you can go a little bit heavier. Okay? Get something heavier. You can throw on shin guards or if you want to want that challenge, you can do it without the shin guards. If you want to do it the floor, you can do the same thing. Man, this one's going to hurt. Same thing. Bring it up. And you're just going to kick up, just like that. And you got to really balance it, okay? Boom. Same thing. It's a little bit more challenging. You start here, kick up, ugh. bring it back with your hands, try not to let it touch, and then come back. This one, your feet are going to touch, man. It's hard. But, ugh, kick it up, and then bring it back. And then bring it down, and bring it up. And then you're just going to keep breathing. Really so, you can do it with the medicine ball. But again, if this is your first time, you're starting off. Basic way here, and you're just kicking up. That's it. That's it. And the main keys 
The points are, again, keep your belly button tucked in. If someone has a string in their phone, your belly button down to the floor. And keeping your lower back pressed into the floor. Okay? Not just having it loose. You're kind of just going through just the motion. You keep that tension on your abs the whole time as you're going through these movements. I've been doing this for about maybe a few months now, and I definitely feel the results. You know, I feel a lot more stronger, you know, in my core. Definitely seeing a lot more power in my kicks as well. So I just wanted to share this with you guys and uh, let me know your results and drop me some comments.